Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys. Before we get into the spell work, I want to let you guys know that we will be um, selling these. We have done personalized, ritualized baths. Um, and what this is, is depending on what it is that you're trying to draw into your life, we have the love spell, which is particularly for those that are wanting to cut cords, wanting to completely cleanse your space, your energy, and draw love into you. We also have the seven crowns of power. This is for those of you guys that are trying to bring in money, uh, cleanse yourself as a road opener as well. We do. We will be having road openers as well. I just don't have the package right now at hand. And we also have the Hex Blockbuster. Um, these, like I said, these are ritualized, consecrated herbs that are prepared specifically for baths, spiritual baths. So you'll be able to find this on our online store. They will become available on the third week of, or actually I should say next week on Friday. So you'll be able to purchase these on our online store next week, Friday, um, to pretty much set the intention and get ready to, uh, you know, be open and cleanse ourselves completely to be able to receive the new year. So if you guys are interested, definitely check that out. Like I said, they will be going live. You'll be able to purchase them on our online store next week on Friday. So without further ado, let me pull these back really quick so that we can get into the spell work. Give me one second, you guys. Oh, all right. All right, welcome to our channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys. This is a very simplistic spell, but it is extremely powerful. If you have been, let's say, uh, experiencing a dry spell, right, um, which is what we call when you've been single for quite a while, or you haven't really been able to find a long-term uh, committed relationship, or it just seems like everything that you begin when it comes to relationships, it doesn't, it doesn't really take off. This spell is for you. Now, you can also do this um, to be able to create some type of contact if there recently has been uh, some type of separation, some type of argument between you and your partner. But we're going to specifically focus for those that are trying to draw love in. Uh, this is breaking negativity um, and being able to raise your energy and your vibration um, like I said, to be able to bring to you um, the sweets of love, right? Um, so again, if you've been experiencing a dry spell for quite a while, this spell is definitely going to be for you. Let's go down the ingredients very quick. You're going to need a plate or a tray somewhere where we're going to put all our ingredients. You're also going to need a white piece of paper with a black marker. You're also going to be needing some milk, yes, some milk you're going to be needing a pink or red candle preferably pink like this one we're trying to draw in that true authentic love uh, for a client of mine we're also going to be needing some albaca albaca is used very strongly and very heavily when we're talking about love spells especially um, spells that primarily focus on uh, blessing the path this is for those that have experienced either resistance or it just seems like you're blocked when it comes to love and romance um, albaca is basil for those of you guys that don't know basil um, preferably fresh basil crucial and important for this spell um, also you're going to be needing some type of cinnamon oil you're going to be needing some cinnamon powder some honey um, make sure to have your protection spell um, candle lit to make sure that you are protected to be able to um, also it will assist you in cutting any negative blockages or road blockages that you have been experiencing in regards to to love um, primarily we use the protection spell to protect ourselves obviously but it also assists to empower the spells that you do so as you guys can see we have that going right here but I'm going to draw it a bit back all right so let's get into the needy greeting so what you're going to do is you're going to be writing a petition make it as simplistic and as easy as possible um, so as an example if you've been experiencing a lot of bad luck and love 
what you're gonna what you're gonna write down would be something like I call forth luck in matters of the heart and then you can write down with a relationship that could be long term um, within a true authentic connection, whatever it is that you're trying to draw into you, that's exactly what you're going to be writing down. Okay. All right. So once we've done that, what we're going to do now is you're going to pour a bit of honey, um, and preferably, uh, this is crucial. And, and I know it may seem, um, a bit like it doesn't really make sense, but trust me when I tell you, what you're going to do is you're going to dip some of the honey in your index finger and make sure that is on your left hand index finger. And once you have the honey in your finger, what you're going to do is you're going to spit some saliva in your paper and you're going to draw a circle, okay, a circle around your petition. Once that is done, again, I'm going to repeat this. You're going to pour some of the honey in your left index finger once you have done that you're going to spit some saliva into your petition paper then you're going to draw a circle with the honey and your saliva around your petition once that is done what we're going to do here is we're going to add a little bit of cinnamon and what you're going to do now is you're going to fold it towards you and then you're going to turn it to the right and you're going to turn it towards you again. And then you're going to turn it to the right again towards you. OK, so it's going to look something like this. So we have our client's petition here. But as an example, this is what it's going to look like. OK, once we have that, we're going to put that to the side. So let me draw that out. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get the candle. As you guys can see, we've already prepared it. But what you're going to do is you're going to get the candle and you're going to write down your first and last name and date of birth from the top to the bottom. OK, so it's going to look like this. First name, last name, date of birth from the top to the bottom going down. All right. Once that is done. Like I said, make sure to put your first, last name, and date of birth. Once you have done that, what you're going to do now is you're going to put the candle on your plate or tray. And what you're going to do is with the, with the albahaca, basil, what we're going to do now is we're going to get some of the milk and we're going to dip it in there. And yes, you guys can see here the roots. I prefer to use the roots um, only because it brings a lot of grounding to this to this spell work. It brings a lot of grounding, a lot of stability, a lot of strength into the partnership that is coming towards you or that you're trying to draw into your life. Um, so I prefer to use the roots here, but you don't have to. Um, I just know that it gives quicker results for my clients. All right, so once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to um, you're going to sprinkle the milk on the candle with the with the basil. OK. Take your time when doing this, you guys, um, the milk assists us and helps us in cutting um, any blockages that we may be experiencing, whether um, they are normal blockages of life, whether it's because you've been blocked, because people have, um, you know, been spiteful and created some type of blockage in your love life, um, anything like that. And sometimes, um, especially clients that experience like they try to do spell work themselves, uh, doing too much spell work for yourself without using the proper tools or the proper protection, you can actually salarte, which is an indicative of um, pretty much um, blocking your own energy when we're talking about love and relationships, especially if you have a tendency of doing spell work for 
a partner, someone that you're with in a relationship or you've done it in the past and you don't use protection or you don't do cleansings. Um, you can actually block your own self. Make sure to have incense in the background as you guys can see here. We have some cinnamon incense burning in the background. All right, so once this is done, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some honey to the candle. And you don't need very much. Okay. All righty. Let me put this to the side really quick. All right. Once we have done that, now what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle some of the cinnamon on the candle, on top of the candle. You can go around the candle as well. It's going to get a bit sticky, you guys. Okay. All right. So once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to add some of the oil here. And like I said, you can get, um, you would need cinnamon um, essential oil. If you don't have that, what you can do is you can get some of the powdered cinnamon and you can add some or mix it with some, um, some olive oil and you should be uh, good if you don't have that. Now, for those of you guys that have purchased our, either our love oils or our binding oils, um, all of those are prepared and they do have um, they do have cinnamon and they actually have rose oil on there too. So you don't really need to do anything other than use that if you do have that at your disposal. All right, so once that is done, what we're going to do is we're going to put some energy into this, okay? <clears throat> so what you're going to say is, with this spell, I sweeten my path. Everything that comes to me will be in pure love and from love. I'm going to repeat it. With this spell, I sweeten my path. Everything that comes to me will be in pure love and from love. You're going to chant this nine times. With this spell, I sweeten my path. Everything that comes to me will be in pure love and from love. All right. And like I said, you're going to repeat this nine times. Give me one second. Okay, so once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to put this a bit to the side and we're going to light the candle. So after you have chanted that chant nine times, with this spell, I sweeten my path. Everything that comes to me will be in pure love and from love. Once you've done that or once you've Okay, so that's one. Once you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to light the candle. Don't be surprised, um, like what just happened right now, that it doesn't light the very first time. You may need a few tries, and that's okay. A lot of the times, it's because of the blockages that they've, they're either experiencing or have been experiencing for quite a while. Now, I'm doing this for a client. A client that has been single for about six years and it just seems like they they have no prospects whatsoever um, and it is uh, it is a client that has done work um, in the past with past relationships so we've needed to open the path for them open the road for her and we are again like I said don't be surprised if it turns off like it did right now um, a lot of the times it's like I said, it's depending on the blockages that you're experiencing. You know, 
when you've been single for a very long time and it's by choice, that's a different story. But if you literally have no prospects whatsoever and it just seems like you, you know, can't really get um, attention or don't really have suitors or don't really have people coming towards you or being attracted to you or trying to get to know you or anything like that, that's not normal, you guys. So it's important to not only cleanse ourselves, cleanse our space, but also, and see, this person has been single for six years. We have one, two, three, four, four that we've tried already. So we're going to, like I said, we're going to keep going until it is able to light. That one was quick. Okay, so it's going now. After the sixth one. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to let it um, consume itself. What we're going to do is we're going to burn the petition paper with the candle, with the candle's flame. Okay, so I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to let it completely burn. Okay. And you're going to let it consume itself, as you guys can see here. And what we're doing is we're going to let it completely burn out, and we're going to use some of the ashes that are on the petition paper um, to anoint the candle. So, like I said, you're going to let it consume. All right, my lovely. So as you guys can see, this is what it's going to look like. We're going to let it um, cool off a bit. And what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to use the ashes of the petition paper to anoint the candle, meaning to put some of the ashes in the candle like this. Okay. And like I said, take your time when doing this, you guys. It is extremely important and extremely um, powerful when you're taking your time, when you're taking your time um, doing this ritual. I cannot tell you guys how many clients I've had that I've done this work for, and I'm talking about people that have been single for 10 years, for 12 years, for whatever years, and I hear from them... <laughs> in a matter of a few months and they are in a long-term committed relationship so again if you do it with faith if you do it with purpose um, with focus you're definitely going to see the results okay so as you guys can see it's going to look something like this what you're going to do now is you're going to leave the basil you're going to leave the ashes and put some of the ashes on top of the candle you're going to let it completely consume itself once it has been con completely consumed, the, the wax has melted completely. It's going to melt into the basil and into the matches, into the petition. Once it is completely consumed and extinguished, what you're going to do is you're going to bury this. It is very important to bury it either in your garden. If you have a rose bush, I would highly encourage you to um, bury it in the rose bush. If you don't, you live in apartments or whatever, I would encourage you to get a plant somewhere where you can plant this underneath the plant and make sure to water 
and take care of the plant. Like I said, I guarantee you guys, don't get frustrated if in the beginning it's not lighting. It is just a representation of the blockages that you're removing. It is a representation of the resistance when we're talking about love, when we're talking about relationships, when we're talking about stability. Um, depending on how difficult it is uh, to light, to get it going, it is the blockages that are being removed. So again, continue, continue, and continue until it's lighting, until it is constant, and again, until it completely consumes itself, okay? Um, like I said, it is very simplistic, but I guarantee you guys will get quick results. All right, my lovelies, I want to wish you guys the very best. Like I said, don't forget when it's completely consumed, the wax, everything together. Um, take it and bury it in a rose bush or in your garden or by a plant um, and nurture it, take care of it until that love comes to you, until you find that stable relationship. I want to wish you guys the very best. Remember, intention, focus, and trust. Till then, I'll see you guys. Bye.